Hey, now look at us. Oh, look at us. We're supposed to go here. We're at the same YouTube channel, Kilter Ruins Designs. Oh, we just you go. I'll tell you what you need to do for me here, okay? You just gotta go ahead and click the like and the subscribe button here. That's all you gotta do, huh? Come here, Dale, here. You should be wary. Still, I venture someplace scary. Ghostly haunting, I turn loose. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Welcome back, everyone. Burke will be our ghost of the most today. We're going to start by shoving all of his glorious Thor locks to a wig cap so we can start to apply the bald cap. I'm using a white latex bald cap by Cinema Secrets and position it where it needs to sit. I mark out where I need to cut the ears with an eyeliner pencil and gently cut the holes to fit around the back of the ears and down the side of the face. I'm using spirit gum to glue down the edges of the bald cap. I'm usually a big fan of Prozaid, especially since I'm personally allergic to spirit gum, but unfortunately nowhere near me sells it. And if you're like me, you're too impatient to wait for shipping. So spirit gum it is. It works fine for this. Just remember to tap on it with your finger or sponge to activate the glue before gluing down your ball cap or prosthetic. Since I'll be applying a wig that will cover up the entire of the back of the cap, I'm not concerned with gluing it down, so I tuck it in the back of his shirt until I glue the wig into place. I applied the bald cap slightly off center, which kind of bugs me, but luckily with this kind of makeup you can't tell, especially if you hide your edges well with liquid latex, which is what I'm doing now. I layered two to three coats of latex, allowing each layer to dry between coats. This helps to blend the cap into the skin and mask the edge. I was originally going to do a nose bridge made out of build up latex and tissue, but I ended up scrapping it later. Next time, I'd rather build a gelatin nose piece. It would be a lot cleaner in the end. It's a small detail, but something I'll definitely do next time I apply this makeup. I'm starting to stipple a mix of Mayron face paints in white and zombie. I'm making sure to apply it in a patch job, since old Beetlemire is not 100% clean white. It helps that Berg isn't clean shaven either, since Michael Keaton definitely had stubble in the film. Small details like these can really add to the effect. It's better than being the juice demon. <laughs> I apply the mix all the way down the neck, avoiding the eyes to reduce white face paint, dulling down dark eyes I'll be applying next. I use baby powder all over to set the makeup in place. You can also use a translucent powder of your choice. For the eyes, I'm taking a mix of black and purple cream makeup, and while looking at reference photos, I'm recreating the eye shape. The shape seems to wing out slightly at the end of the eyebrows. To set the makeup in place, I'm using similar black and purple eyeshadows. I concentrated the black around the base of the eyelashes and the hollows of the eyes. Off camera, we applied some black eyeliner to his waterline to deeper intensify the eyes. BJ's eyebrows can clearly be seen here at the end shot with Otho. They're blacked out and swoop up comically. A lot of it is Keaton's expression, but I'm choosing to replicate the angle.
before I move on to the detail work, I'm going to apply the wig. I adhered it to the bald cap with more spirit gum to keep it in place. The wig is actually one of those cheap wigs you can find just about anywhere right now. I believe it was the Marilyn Monroe style, and I straightened it with boiling water and then trimmed and chopped out some of the chunks of the hair. I stained the roots with green and yellow dyes and brown acrylic paint. Using a teasing comb, I'm matting the hair and making it stick out in places I want it to. I also spray it down with some hairspray and use hair gel to make it appear more slimy and disgusting. I still feel like there's too much hair in the wig and will probably end up taking out some of the tracks to thin it out. Picking up the Mayron zombie color face paint, I start to lay down the decayed veining around the hairline. It helps to keep up reference photos to look back on for placement. I'm using a ripped up makeup sponge to stipple the paint on, being careful not to make clean lines or over apply it. I apply bright green, olive green, and yellow eyeshadows around the corner of his mouth for shadow under the moss I'll be applying shortly. To add more dimension to the veining, I'm stippling darker greens, some yellows, and a touch of black. Again, I'm stippling it on to break up the color. Stippling and flecking colors on adds a layered depth to your makeup look and will help to avoid being washed out. It makes the makeup look more interesting, complex, even with something as simple as this look. Taking dried moss you can find at any local craft store, I'm using spirit gum once again to apply it to the sides of his mouth, the side of his face, and a few small pieces around his hairline. For the mold effect, I'm using cotton batting that you stuff pillows with. I glue it down from his ear, down the neck. Remember to keep looking back at reference photos to see where the moss and mold is concentrated. He has a bigger patch of moss going down one side of his neck. I make some final fussing to the wig and moss placement before moving on to the final step. Off camera, I let Berg apply Cinema Secrets Tooth Enamel in black. Remember to read the instructions before applying the enamel to your teeth. Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. This makeup would not be possible without the amazing V. Neal, who masterfully brought Beetlejuice to life. She was one of the amazing makeup artists who inspired me since I was a kid. Now go out and turn up the juice and see what shakes loose. Oh, me like props, you know, she was like, hey, hey, where you going here? Don't leave me alone here. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get you to like and subscribe here, huh? Oh, you bunch of losers! You working with the professional here? Nice YouTube channel. <laughs>